Hello everyone, it's Tessa of Akashic Soul Healing. Today is my weekly sharing for Akashic Records and what's going on with our energies. And we had an intense week of emotions because uh, we had our new moon in Cancer. And Cancer deals with relationships, with your home, your emotions. So we need to really um, stay grounded. And when you're feeling a lot of emotions, when you're being triggered by someone or you're, you know, around you, people around you, your friends, family, or some strangers that uh, had come into your fields, you have to really stay in your heart space. Because our ego is quite um, loud, you know, and it brings us back to our old patterns, our old ways of thinking, the old uh, paradigms. So we really have to be aware and become an acute observer of your awareness. So for example, um, uh, there's some stuff that, that is around you that you cannot shift, like maybe um, you cannot get ahead with your business or something that's blocking you. So uh, see what what's going on and really take a deeper look inside because everything that's happening is a mirror of ourself so for me when something comes up you know I instead of blaming the other person I actually uh, take a deep reflection and ask my Akashic Records questions that can lead me to my truth. So Akashic Records is, is, is a beautiful uh, tool to help you and assist you in finding answers. Because we actually cannot find the answers because we are conditioned in that old paradigm. Our subconscious is driven by the old, uh, the old self. So... What happens in the Akashic Records, when you ask a question, your field is protected and the, the messengers, the, um, the lords of the Akashic Records, the Ascended Masters and the Archangels and Angels are around you in that space. So asking a question, you are going to receive uh, answers that is not coming from yourself. And it feels like it's yourself because it's actually a part of yourself because it's a, it's a tool, right? And your mind is a tool to access the records. But it's totally, um, sometimes you would receive messages or answers to your questions that is, um, um, that is hard to accept. So it is up to you as your choice to and your will, you know, what to do with the answers from the Akashic Records. So when something triggers you that is not, you know, in alignment with your, um, with your integrity, like, you know, you feel betrayed or um, you lost your trust, so then take a look at yourself on what's going on with you. Because you probably had betrayed yourself or you didn't trust yourself. So it's everything is about you when, when things are happening. You take a look at yourself and ask questions. What is the lesson? What are the patterns? Where is this coming from? Um, what am I healing? Oh, this is my cat, Gaia. <laughs> wants to get into our communication conversation so those are questions that can help like uh, ask for uh, where where is this coming from the roots and you could feel um, vibrations or tingling you know anything around your body and then locate the chakra energy centers and then uh, you, you could tell if it's the root chakra, it's your family dynamics, or if it's the heart chakra, it's your uh, concerning about your relationships. So, 
When something tri triggers you, instead of blaming or judging, look at the mirror and uh, take an inventory of yourself. Take a deep reflection, ask questions in the Akashic Records, and send love and light to this person that is um, bothering you or whatever situations is um, not appealing uh, in alignment with your highest good. So everything is a door of opportunities for us to transcend anything that is not uh, in light. So really everything, every obstacle in our life is, is just a door to expand yourself. It's a door for expansion. And I hope um, I shed a light on your shadow. <laughs> and thank you for listening. Blessings of miracles. Bye-bye. Thank you.